Hey guys, Aaron here back in the garage continuing on the engine build. The engine is in. Uh, we're getting ready to try to start it up very shortly. But first I need to drain the fuel out of this thing. So I wanted to make a video on how to drain fuel out of your tank on a, this is a 2005 Carrera S 997.1. Uh, and we're gonna use the P-Wiz to do it. Now I have never done this before, so warning. Uh, this is the first step. So you need to locate your fuel line. Uh, and I just unclipped it from this bracket, pulled it out to have a little more uh, room to separate them, pinch in those tabs, pull it apart, and some fuel will drip out when you do that. Um, so just to be orientated down here, I'm on the little, this is the left side, the um, <clears throat> driver's side in the U.S., uh, you got these two lines coming down here. The one on the right or closest to the middle of your car is your fuel line. Um, so you're gonna have to disconnect that. I got a little drip tray down there to catch some fuel when it came out. I have this line. Uh, this is actually a 3 8 inch inner diameter hose and it fits on pretty snugly. I'm gonna go ahead and take a zip tie and tighten it up on there just so it doesn't really leak. Um, but I wanted to do this, uh, the battery is out of the car right now. Uh, and I just installed this engine so there is no um, fuel pressure. So if you guys have fuel pressure in your car when you go to do this, uh, I guess that would probably spray a lot more uh so yes if you don't have fuel pressure very little fuel actually comes out of there um assuming your engine has been out but uh yeah that's step one uh step two is i'm going to lower this car back down so that i can put a new battery in it and i'm going to get pwis set up now if you turn the ignition on with the battery in there, it's gonna to try to pressurize your fuel system. So it would try to uh, spray some fuel out of here for me. So I'm gonna make sure that I have my little uh, gas can under here to catch the old fuel. And I'm gonna get P-Wiz set up. If you don't have P-Wiz, I think maybe you can use Durametric, I don't know, but I got a link. I'll try to put it up here for you or go search my channel for P-Wiz. I'll show you how to install it. All right, I've got the car on a battery tender. I have my P-Wiz connected and we got it up and running. I'm gonna come over to the DME and then hit F12 for next. Uh, I'm gonna do no vowel. Yes, it's 997. Yes, there's a battery connected. Again. All right, now we're gonna switch on the ignition. And oh gosh, this is the first time this has ever happened. All right, kind of scared here. I have the hose hooked up under here in a pan, just in case anything comes out. Uh, it's my first time in this car, first time doing this. First time putting an engine in like this. So a little nervous. Oh gosh. I touched the key. It made noise. Um, I hope nothing blows up. Uh, is the ignition on there? I did hear that this lock is janky. Ugh, my ignition switch is janky. Yeah, it doesn't want to let my key out. Ah, oh, okay. I had to push it in and then turn it to turn my ignition on. And of course, we have all kinds of bad warnings and stuff. Oh, okay, well, my ignition is on now. Okay, let's click back, try this again. Try 
Control unit search has been complete. All right, it's a DME under, I believe it is drive blank checks. Uh, drive blanks. Okay, so drive link test has a little drop down value. And we have the fuel pump relay. I think it is the fuel pump relay uh, that we are going to select. Um, but let me double check that. There's literally only like one post on the whole internet that I can find about this. No videos, obviously. So seeing it much better than reading it. All right, this makes me feel better straight from the service manual on the PWIZ 2, which is what we have. It says activate the fuel pump relay, PWIZ. Press F8 to start it until the fuel emerges. Deactivate the fuel pump by pressing F8 to stop and pour any leak, blah, blah, blah. All right, before I do that, I'm going to raise the car back up some. Just enough to get my gas can and fit it under there. All right, got some gloves, got a zip tie, got that all the way over the end. And uh, I just got to put my gas can down here. Put that guy in there. And let's activate this thing, see what happens. I really don't know how much fuel I have. It says, oh great, it says I still have half a tank. Ugh. Uh, I also read somewhere where it only goes down to three eighths uh, full on the reading, and after that, it's all estimated. So we'll see if that's true. Okay, back over here in PWIZ, I selected the fuel pump relay, and just like the instructions said, F8 is start. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. All right, here goes nothing. I definitely hear it. Something is happening. Oh, heck yeah. Fuel is chugging out of that thing. It is moving pretty fast. Awesome. Um, so I'm gonna keep an eye under the car. And as soon as either the fuel uh, stops coming out or my gas tank fills up, I got five gallons worth. I'm gonna hit F8 and stop it. Quick check up here, and indeed, my uh, fuel gauge is slowly going down. Oh wow, it's a good little jump right there. And fuel's still going out. It's been a couple minutes, and it's uh, I'd say it's probably about two gallons worth that it's pumped out, so I don't know, a gallon a minute-ish. All right, starting to near my five gallon mark, I can see through it, can see that line. Should be able to see that line there. So let's stop it. I'm gonna have to go dump this fuel somewhere and then come back and do this procedure again. So F8, stop. It has stopped successful execution. So this is pretty freaking cool. Oh man, I love the PWIS. <clears throat> if you guys don't have it, you gotta get it. Uh, especially if you have Porsches. Um, all right, so we still have fuel in that line. Uh, so I'm gonna get that fuel out, try not to spill, dump this out, come back and do the procedure again. So hopefully you guys can give this video a thumbs up Hope it helped. Uh, let me know how it goes for you guys in the comments below, or if you have any other recommendations on how to do something differently, because obviously first time doing it. So let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. All right, we got bonus footage. We are uh, running it down. And I forgot that I had these for the track. So uh, yeah, more space. All right, it's starting to sound different. My hose is shaking a little. Ah, we got some bubbles going through it now, so I think it is just about empty. I was just standing by to hit stop on the pump, and 
the rumors were greatly exaggerated. It will read all the way down to empty. All right, two cans filled with gasoline. This is my old gas that I took out. This is some new 93 gas. Uh, a little difference in color. I'd say this guy needs to drink more water.